Today marks the 18th World Intellectual Property Day. In recent years, China has made unremitting efforts to strengthen its IPR protection. So, what is motivating China to become a determined protector? Already a global technology powerhouse, China's economy is largely driven by innovation. As Francis Gurry, director general of World Intellectual Property Organization, put it, China has now evolved from a consumer of technology to a global producer. Last year, China filed more international patent applications than any other country except for the U.S. The two companies to file the most international patent applications in 2017 were Chinese, and China's own State Intellectual Property Office received nearly 1.4 million applications for invention patents, more than the U.S., Japan, South Korea, and Europe combined, holding the world top position for the seventh year. Looking at these remarkable numbers, it is obvious that China strengthened IPR protection not just because it is an international obligation, but also a demand of the country's own development. China is acting steadfastly. In 2017, Chinese courts settled 203,000 IPR-related cases, up 38 percent from a year earlier. Over 7,000 people were charged. Police also investigated 17,000 cases related to IPR violation. Or making and selling counterfeit products, with a sum surpassing one billion U.S. dollars. More than that, the Chinese government has been passing IP reforms at a breakneck speed, aiming to solve the issue via mechanism building. In March 2018, the State Intellectual Property Office was restructured, with clearer objectives and broader functions. The agency would accelerate establishment of an IPR protection system of trademarks. Patents and geographical indications, and work with agencies overseas. Now, China has established 19 intellectual property protection centers nationwide. The centers aim to provide more convenient and efficient channels at a lower cost to safeguard rights and accelerate authorization and confirmation. China adopted the anti-unfair competition law last year. Chinese lawmakers are also revising the patent law. Introducing a punitive damages system for intellectual property infringement, Shen Changyu, head of the State Intellectual Property Office, said China will better protect IPR to improve the business environment and attract more foreign investors. The top IPR official also made it clear that China treats IPR owned by domestic and foreign companies in an equal fashion and gives them equal protection. Here's the suitcase. In 2016, former NBA star Michael Jordan brought a trademark infringement case against Chinese sports company Qiaodan Sports for its alleged use of a similar name and logo to his Nike-produced brand. China's Supreme People's Court ruled that the Chinese company did infringe on Jordan's rights, banning them from using their Chinese character name. Both sides accepted the ruling. China has pledged to enhance international cooperation in IPR fields. Building inclusive, balanced, and effective international IPR rules. However, as Shen put it, China opposes both the abuse of IPR rules as well as trade protectionism in the guise of protecting IPR.